Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a couple more settings in the simple mode, the different pens that we have available, and the settings down here. So here, if you click, you can alternate between different styluses. And these are types of styluses, not really brand specific. So this one is a two button stylus. It has the invert button right here, and it has the barrel button right here. If you click to the next one, this is the surface stylus, the surface pen. This has the barrel button right here. This is invert, but it's not really something that you should map to. It causes all sorts of problems when you try and erase. So we have that grayed out. If you have a surface stylus and you want to try and remap that, uh, do so at your own risk. It's a terrible idea, but kind of fun to see what happens. So you can uh, switch to the other stylus that way. And then you have Bluetooth options because Bluetooth is available on this stylus or type of stylus. And let's go to the last option here. This is a two button plus Bluetooth stylus. So this is invert and barrel or barrel and invert. Um, press the buttons next to the screen. Uh, let me demonstrate that here. And that'll show you which button is being triggered. You can see the Bluetooth one. Okay. So, and we have this opening up down here. Okay, go away, little window. So here you can see the different types of stylus. I may make these a little more generic in the future, but for right now, just understand that these will gray out certain features that are not available on that type of stylus. You can also go into settings and choose select pen. And this has a list here that has a little bit more information in it. And you can choose that that way. Now there are some more options here. So the pen tool has a number of different keyboard shortcuts, which are displayed in the help file, which we'll go to right after this. This turns all of them off at once. This will enable automatic switching based on the active window. And this is for not only the buttons on the, on the pen, but also for Tablet Pro presets. So I'll demonstrate that in the next video, but not this one. Switch presets only for maximized apps. If the window that you're doing, so like this one right here is the pen tool. This is not a maximized app. It's not covering the entire screen. So that won't switch but it will if it is maximized. Uh, do not release sticky mods on key presses. This one does exactly that. I'll talk about sticky mods more in another video. Debug pen events. This one is um, kind of shows you what's going on a little bit underneath the hood uh, and tooltips. So uh, I will demonstrate this and tooltips I'll show you in just a second. So here, this is the Tablet Pro install path. If you have Tablet Pro installed on your computer, there's a lot of different things that the pen tool manages. And those are extra features. So um, just keep that in mind, they are extra. Um, they don't cost anything extra, they're just extra. And I say that for a couple of different reasons. I just don't want people complaining if they don't have Tablet Pro installed, why does that feature not work? Well, it's extra <laughs> and it's, it's to help with the Tablet Pro software um, and you're not being charged for it, it's free, but please don't complain about it in the store, in the ratings. Okay, and then disable tool tips. Okay, so this is the linking exe file and this is the preset folder. So if you have a folder, like I will include a preset folder uh, with the download of the desktop software and if you want to link directly to that folder, wherever you put that, you can browse and find it there. And here's a video tutorial link. Okay, so let's apply. I'm going to show you the pen events. So this shows us right here, shows us which version we're using. We're using the 64-bit version. And then here, if I press a button, I show you which one is pressed and how many times it is pressed uh, when you're going in and out of hover state. This is the barrel button. This is invert button. This is the eraser on the screen. And this is the tip touching down. So there's a lot of information here. If you have a question, something's not working, you can look at that information and send me some information that way and it'll help me um, improve things. So I, I don't expect you to use that, but that's what that does. So turn that off. Um, that will definitely slow down performance, so I don't recommend using it for fun. All right, so tool tips. So here, let's go ahead and go to input mode. Now, if you hover here, you're gonna see, click here to input hotkey. Over here, toggle for more or less settings. This setting will deactivate advanced 
options, yes. And you can hover over these different ones and they'll give you a little bit more information. Um, here, click or double click. If you double click it, it'll open up the Tablet Pro desktop settings. Again, you can find the Tablet Pro software at tabletpro.com. And here, if you click, it will save and apply settings. If you double click, it'll close at the same time. And then keep in mind, this window needs to be closed for auto switching to work if you're using that feature. So we're going to double click and we're going to end the video here. In the next video, we'll go over some of the advanced settings, including uh, integration with Tablet Pro.